Gaming and welcome back to Victoria and the Pianodons mod set. We don't have all of them up, you know, they have not uh, I'm playing here with uh, a couple of friends, uh, namely Eddie Man Place and Nexus Gaming. How's it going, you guys? guys? Want to say hello? Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. Oh yeah. Guys, you just... can tell that was Eddie and Nexus, and not me. We left <laughs> off. We left off the last episode with uh, craziness. We both, all war. three of us died. <laughs> um, but there's more craziness in between the recordings. You want to explain what yeah. happened, Cag? <laughs> Well, I, I was the one who survived between the recordings. I died <laughs> right before we ended. Oh my goodness! End, ended it, but um, but yeah, there was a lot of uh, a lot of fighter carnage. They took uh, out, and we didn't exactly win. They took out a photo advancement. Say. Holy moly! Look at that base up there. Well, they didn't take out our whole advancement, but they took out like a lot of it. All right, a Kag, lot of the good stuff. Kag, I'm going to run down and get some more walls. Um, yeah. And more ammo. Uh, grab some uh, turrets too, maybe? Yep. If you'd be so inclined. So yeah. Uh, so there was a change in plan up here. From uh, from going uh, keep going up and j just grabbing a big square. Carving that out of the, of the map. To basically just... Calling this good. <laughs> <laughs> moving the moving the wall back, you know, half of the length it was intended to be. Yeah, because uh, it failed the first time. The biter sent Big in a, time. <laughs> a huge wave and completely destroyed and obliterated the whole total expansion yep. to the north. Like no joke. Uh, like yeah, I can show you on the map. Um, no joke. This whatsoever. all right here was a nice little uh, place, as you can see. Uh, this entire expansion forward operating area was wiped out in one biter wave. Yep. Um, yeah. And that was with it's completely me and, trashed. But that that was that was with me and Eddie up here fighting them. Right. <laughs> um, this was, as you can see, as you can see, the line of uh, ore on the ground. This was an entire apparatus of an ore, of an ore mining facility. This was hit first by the biters. They targeted it, singled it out, wiped out most of it. It wasn't and, even powered uh, took, on yet. Yeah, well, maybe it wasn't it was even half powered. Of it. Well, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. it was powered. They took out the power. Um, yeah. Yeah. They wiped out pretty much over half of it. Took the power offline at the same time, and then it proceeded to, uh, as you can see, they trashed a bunch of the stuff here on the corner, not as badly. And then they proceeded to send another wave from uh, this base right here, and these two splatter bases right here, and they both they all just kind of diagonally went, and that was it. All right. So I have. Cag, where do I put the ore? Oh, I just insert it manually. Okay. What? The uh, alien ore here. Yeah, you just put it. Yeah, you just put it. Why am I wasting time crafting these? I can be. Uh, needs iron. Put it right into the here. furnaces. Grabbing them from the thing over here. Okay. Hello. There we go. So the the oh, wall man. me and Eddie is making right now isn't really a a defense as much as it is a break. You know, just slowing the biters down a little. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the whole reason why we're doing this is obviously for future expansion, and we're also running low in iron in our main starting well, area. So. The whole whole belt that's going down here with uh, with um, iron on it that's stacked iron. Okay. I'm just saying, fully saturated stacked iron belt. Uh, the base might need that soon, but let me come back up and help. I have uh, stone walls and I have more turrets. All right, I'm okay. I'm also doing a little supply run. Okay, and I grab some alien or uh, alien magazines. All right, guys, I'm down here. I'm making um. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm making uh. Pipes for us because we don't have any. So while they're up there doing that, I'm going to chill down here and make sure that we have um, stuff that we'll most assuredly need later. Come on now. Alright. I don't know what I made those for. 
Okay, back to green science. Uh, we need to go over here and get the deconstruction planner. Why didn't it give it to us? Thank you. <laughs> so guys, what I'm doing is um, oh, just the bots gonna work Damn, on the wall here. The bots. Continue working on this wall. All right, I'm gonna make um, the long-awaited uh, nanobots that you guys Thank said you. that you, the guys that you guys said that you didn't need. Yeah, we kind of sort of lost our robots. Yeah, I have. Uh, did, did that happen on ca camera or off camera? That was off. Camera. It happened on camera. Well, All right, oh yeah. no, uh, we lost them on camera. Yeah, didn't we? I, I I wasn't certain, so I figured you know a little clarification might be. We uh, uh, whether it happened on or off ca camera, it happened. We lost them. <laughs> yeah. The point is, is that they're gone. <laughs> yeah. I I think I got yeah I got five left. But yeah, that's, uh, that's not that's, sufficient. I no, have, I have 16 left. I can probably give you some. I no, no, I'm, to... I'm, I'm, I'm done using them. Five isn't going to do it. You can have my five, though, and then you have 21. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, it's. Uh, I'm not putting full, my robo ports back in. business for you. I'm not putting my robo ports back in. I'm just going to. Oh, don't matter. I lost the robo ports, the microfusion reactor. I lost the whole the whole. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You didn't. You never picked up your body? It's up there in those. It was up there by those two splatter bases. There's no way to get up there. Uh, yeah, probably, he lost his they, they cornered in the me middle of died. the. Yeah, yeah. It's probably all gone by Nexus, now. Nexus was playing quite, quite aggressively. Yeah. <laughs> well, I kind of got cornered by two different swarms, and when I tried to retreat, I got pushed into the trees right by those bases, and that was pretty much all she wrote. I kind of sort of feel for you. Kind of sucks to be Nexus right now, but it's okay. Shit happens. Pretty much. So now we are. I'm going to make the um. The stuff. Oh, that stuff. Cool. Because um, I'm you know I don't really care about the microfusion reactor anyway. I can make another one later when we get the materials for it. Um, what I care about is the Cag, fact that we're going to need. Or? Yeah, all all that is stacked. Oh, okay. I'm picking them you up. You grabbed a bunch of stacks, or yeah, I would well, imagine it had an alien goo on it. So, Oop. yeah, I figured we could uh, could extract them with. Um... I'll just hit. Zoom What's and about it? Back on the belt. What's up? Huh? I figured we could uh, could extract it with um, filter inserters. Oh, okay. But uh, you know, if you if you take them out, then. I, was close I, I took by out it, as so. well, so then we don't need to. Yeah, I know. Gotcha. Um, I'm gonna yeah. run now. Supply. I just got up here. Turning back down. <laughs> yeah, I went and ran and grabbed as much ammo off those broken belts as I could. In that north corner there. Because they the biters attacked the belts, but they didn't destroy the ammo that was sitting on them. But uh -huh. I didn't want to aggro the base too much, so I stopped that. I'm gonna double my efforts here with this wall here. All right, sorry guys, I'm being quiet. I'm kind of just focusing. Um, yeah, we kind of all. So I'm over here, <laughs> and I'm building the uh, apparatus for um, the stuff for the uh, the nanobots. Is basically what I'm doing here, and that's kind of why I'm being quiet. It's not that I'm ignoring you guys. God no, just trying to get everything situated. Cool. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys too. Sorry, I was talking to the viewers, but yeah, you guys too. <laughs> I figured wow. as much. <laughs> oh, I I panned on the camera to the map to see what you were doing. Oh yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this and then this and then this and then. I noticed Iron was getting white low, so I I hooked up some of the 
I hooked up one of the lines. Yeah, I, know, I, I noticed it. North. I noticed it coming back up, but I wanted to help come and help out with this. So. Yeah, I've, I've hooked up one of the. Okay. Cool. One of the. So what I think I'm gonna uh, do. Is like... columns. Very good. There's what I was looking for. That's my. Um, that's. That hits the sweet spot. A little spot. bit different here. Oh, All right, this... I'm coming back up, Nettie. Okay. I didn't realize the oil Bear was with so me, guys. We're going to do this one more time. What's... It's basically right there, right What's... next to it. What's going to be the action of getting this base, getting this spider base here? Huh? we got to come up with a plan on how to attack the spider base. Lasers. Well, we... Lasers. The oil I is... Lasers. I know, but the oil is out there. To get lasers. Give me, give me uh, lasers and substations, and I'm down. I'll Let's see. <laughs> and, and a bunch of bots, preferably. But I can, I, I'll deal with it if I don't have the. We need to tech give me enough laser turrets. We need to tech up to that first before we can. We can't just jump into it. Might be able to grab it though. Uh, I'm gonna try what and grab it. What are you guys it. trying to do? Uh, grab some oil. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I, I take that as a vote of confidence. Thank you, uh, Nexus. <laughs> uh -huh. Good luck. Huh. It's it's going to be needed. It least. will, but that's ballsy. I, I meant the good luck part. It's going to be needed. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely going to be needed. <laughs> oh, Kagi should have done that a little further to the west here. Because there's two patches there. Uh, if we miss two patches in the first go, that's, that, that we'll have to do. Let's see if okay. we can get this to do this again. And then, ah, oh, crap. I think that was me, sorry. I actually need that. No, it was me. I was uh, saying, oh crap, to me misplacing the power poles. Or stupidly placing the power poles. We'll, um, let's just go full full row up here, just because you know. Yep. There, there's a lot of shit coming down this path. All right. Yeah. You do inserters and walls, and I do uh, power poles and belts. Actually, these don't even need to go all the way down. Sounds or, like a or, plan. Or whatever. Yeah. So right. um. Yeah. Should we just cut right here? Just, just cut off back. the top patch? Because, like, we got to put a bunch of stuff down and here. Now this is enough just to get started, oh, right? This looks yeah. weird, but it's yeah. okay. Well, I'll cut right here. Sounds good. Teamwork. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh -oh. I have made I have made the apparatus for making the uh stuff. However, uh Here they come. your green circuits don't uh like the idea. Ah crap, what the What I mean by that is it's using you walked into it too, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> At least now you can get your body, though. Circuits. The body's right here. I, I look. I'm. I can. Yeah, it's within our our reach. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm not even gonna like. Right. Build yourself a, a steel axe or a axe of some sort. No, 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 no. It takes forever to this to like, the left. There we go. There we go. I'm already halfway up. So yeah. I'm... All right, Kag, your green circuits factory is not liking um, the nanobot apparatus. Just letting you know. Not liking it? Nope. Uh, oh, well. I like. Well, there's also a big iron shortage. It, right it's. Now. Yeah, well, there's a green circuit shortage. <laughs> there are no green circuits anymore. Oh, the blood is slowly disappearing, by the way. Is it? Yeah. 
I never notice it because Holy. the way I have my base set up, they keep always hitting the same areas and, um, you know, belching or exploding the ore all over the belts in the one area that I want them to be in. So I never really notice because it's always like overlay. But if it does, ex if it does disappear, that's good. Well, at least we successfully grabbed some land here. Yep. Well, we're being attacked again. Not by us. No, by the biters. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Eddie meant not up here. <laughs> yep. Oh, well. It's got to be up there because it's not down here. It is up there. What are you talking about? What? No. Where? Yeah, nothing attacked us down here. I think it's um to the right, uh, to the left on the wall. Like, basically almost straight left for you. And a little up. Yeah, you take a radar. There's a sweet spot that the biters like to attack. You take a little a... by the copper ore, where the big bases are? No, no, no. Um, like, out from our smelting columns. Just straight left. Yep. You'll see the blood spatter on the on the That's ground. One of their sweet spots. They like to come in right yeah, there. Yeah, where the where the oh, red yeah, belt it's is. Oh yeah, this base right here. That's all. That's constantly covered. That that's where they keep coming from. Yeah. They must be going around the lake there or something. It's going nuts. Should we put a radar up here? Uh, probably. Uh, I have one. Probably. Already. Should we just push on over to the over to the to the lake? Yep. To the to the right. Yep. And then we'll hit the middle of something called niobium ore. That's fine. Yeah. Niobium ore. Oh boy. Oh, there's a lot of that stuff. It looks almost like iron. Okay, I didn't want a thousand pipes, but thank you. Yeah, we'll just You're press welcome. we'll just press forward right all the way to the lake for now. All right. All right, I'm going to continue green science while you guys take care of that. That's very appreciated. Now that the nanobots want... are building, you guys will just have to come up here periodically. I mean, because the big bags mod is on, the nanobots every 100 is a 1000, so don't worry about running out anytime soon. <laughs> um <laughs> So yeah, you just come up here and grab a couple hundred every so often when you need them. Sure. I don't think I've ever used them personally. It's basically the same as the bots what? that you get, only they're faster. Yeah, well, you have they to research. Consume. You have to research their upgrade speed and their range and all that, but um, they basically just they work out of your suit, out of your inventory. Ah, shoot, cool. They're cool. Once you've used them the first time, you will never use the regular bots. <laughs> And also, I... and keep in mind that um, when you put up RoboPorts, if the RoboPort covers a certain area and you don't have that covered with, uh, say, the repair packs for the robots to do their job, your ro your nanobots will not repair within range of the uh, fixed area of a RoboPort. You'll have to do it by hand, or you'll have to take the RoboPort down in order to get your nanobots to do it. Oh. Otherwise, they won't do it. I actually prefer the regular bots for... But what I'm saying is, say that okay, say that you have, or say we have, uh, um, oh, how do you, okay, say the the um, the biters come up to a base. Now the now we haven't seen them yet because um, it's still early and it's below 20. But eventually, the there's a red, there's big red spitters, and when you kill them, they blow up into big massive fire puddles that destroy mm -hmm. and damage everything within range. All your belts, your walls, your turrets, everything. Oh, boy. Now. If your robo ports are within range, the orange the orange square, if it's in, or even the green part of it, if it's within range of that damaged area and you don't have any robots in the network that can reach the repair packs to bring there, that stuff won't get repaired. So if you run down there thinking, oh, I got to go repair that, and let the nanobots do it, it's in range of the robo ports who don't have repair packs, and your nanobots will not deploy within the the green square of the robo ports to do anything. To fix yeah. anything, to place anything, nothing. So you'll have to repair that stuff by hand. That, that that's or not going to happen. Or make uh, repair packs. Yeah, or it's gonna, or it's, <laughs> it's like, or, or, 
another potential. Leave it there until it gets destroyed and then replace it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> um, but that uh, that uh, that increases the chances of them tearing down your wall running. and pushing past your turrets and getting in your base to where they're, you know, unstoppable. Yeah. Personally, <laughs> I only use roboports, like, within the factory itself. I keep them away from the walls and stuff so that my nanobots can do all the repairs. But you can't, you can't, then you have to run along the wall, though. You have to run along the wall or the outside so that your nanobots can repair it all. Yeah, but your nanobots are going to repair it faster than those robots are anyway. Because it's like, it works like a, like, kind of like a medical healing kind of thing. When you run past something that's damaged, it just shoots off a blue ball of healing stuff and it just starts repairing it. You don't yeah, have to wait but... for the robots to get over there and, you know, drag, drag, you know, the, the repair packs over there to repair it from whatever box it had to pull it from. You just, nanobots just shoot out automatic medical supplies that automatically heal in nearby yeah, structures I, and entities. I, I, I know. I get it. But it, it, you still have to run there. That's yeah, that's the that's the downside. I mean, that was what, what's killing it. It is, but at the same time, how else are they going to get repaired if you don't have any repair packs laying around? They're not. Hmm. No, no. That's that's why automate repair packs and. So that, I see, that's what I'm saying is I've never actually automated repair packs. I've just used them for the nanobots. All right. Because they're required. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, they're required. Oh, well, different, different people, ways to different play. strategies. That's, that's yeah, part exactly. of the fun, though. We've got three different strategies trying to come together here. Yeah. That, that is the fun, though. That's It'll be what interesting. Makes Victorio so brilliant. Like, you play, but, uh, you play, you play Transport Fever, and sure, yeah. there's different, tra there's different, uh, strategies there, too, but it's not as, as different and as like, <laughs> right. weird and crazy for other people to look at as it is in Victorio, in my opinion. Yeah. But uh, that's going to wrap it up, folks. Thank you very much for joining us. I've been Nexus for Factorio. Uh, please hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. If you've made it this far and you've not hit the red subscribe button, then hit the red subscribe button on all three channels, and uh, we will catch you in the next one. Don't forget hey. to like and subscribe oh. as well. Um... Well, that's what Nexus just said. And uh, if you have any questions <laughs> or comments, uh, if you want to tell us what you, you know, like to see in the series, uh, don't forget to drop that comment below. Awesome. See you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace out. Cheerio.